fun fact, this song took, why did I hold the three? This song took an hour and a half to record. Mike Oxmall, last one to hop on the beatbox trend because save the best for last, obviously. I disappointed Lil Yachty, though. He said uh, no more beatbox challenges, but um, I'm here. <laughs> so, yeah. Who called the cops up to my house? You better call the feds off. Hit him in his pelvis. I knocked his leg off. Pillsbury Doughboy, because that guy is too soft. And if your daughter blind, throw rocks at her. I thought that she was tough. What do you mean by that? <laughs> what do I mean? <laughs> um, you know, if you call the police to my house, obviously I want them gone because who wants the cops at their house? Um, secondly, you're built like the Pillsbury Doughboy. You're too soft. Okay. And it's this coming from me, Mike Oxmall, the most soft guy. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, you know, if I shoot you in your pelvis, that was supposed to be a joke bar because if you get shot in the pelvis, it realistically shouldn't knock your leg off. It might blow your hip off, but definitely not your leg. And then, you know, Toph from Avatar, we kind of showed her a little bit in the music video, but, uh, she was blind, and she could bend rocks. So if your daughter's blind, I'm gonna throw rocks at her. So tell her to watch out. It's my gox up in the speakers. Watch your feet. Don't scuff my sneakers. I transcend like Epiclesis. Last song's the intro. This is the thesis. Okay, so... What the fuck is Epiclesis? Epiclesis. Epiclesis. That is something I learned in theology class. As I believe... Well, I'm gonna look it up after my definition, just to, just to make sure I'm right. But what I believe it was... If I'm recalling from memory, because honestly, I was just like, that sounds that sounds right for this bar. Because I knew I wanted to use thesis, because the next bar, it's straight heat. You can't even deny. Anyway, but Epiclesis, I'm pretty sure, is when the water and bread, or not the water, what the, the bread and wine transform into the body and blood in a, in a church setting, you know, when, the, when they're doing the communion, Eucharist, whatever you call it. As always, I'm right, because I got bodies on the way. Tommy, wet them up, son. Call it clay. Disrespect. You better pray. Watch out, bruh. Fuck out my way. So basically, Tommy, wet them up, son. Call it clay. Uh, Thompson. Clay. Yeah. Um, Because I got bodies on the way. That was building off the la uh, last songs, the intro. This is the thesis to the intro. Basically, it's concluding that. That part of Mike Oxmall. And basically... Last song is the intro. This is the thesis. The intro then leads into body paragraphs, which is where is last song's intro. This is the thesis because I got bodies on the way. Body paragraphs. Fire bar. You can't deny. If you didn't know what it was, now you do. Represent that that bar is fire. Don't need to get them. Spot them. Got them. Wave at him. And then we rot them. Rich ass niggas from the bottom. Box them up after we dot them. G pigeons know how it goes. Don't wipe his ass. I'll wipe his nose. Poison tree, we up that pole. We in this house because we stole. Don't need to get him, spot him, got him. Paying homage to uh, original beatboxer. Spot him, got him. Wave at him, and then we rod him. Rich ass niggas from the bottom. Rod wave, Roddy Rich. That's it. Box him up after we dot him. G Pigeon know how it goes. That's, that's a game on game pigeon. G Pigeon basically. Dots and boxes. Yeah. That's, that's it. Don't wipe his ass, I'll wipe his nose. Probably my favorite bar on this song. <laughs> because, um, you stank niggas, don't be wiping your ass. So, yeah. You'll be wiping your nose, you'll be saying slat, slat, wipe your nose. You don't wipe your ass. It's nasty. You wipe and we your can ass? tell. Of course I wipe my damn ass. I'm not nasty. And I, I do it for a prolonged amount of time, just to make sure it's really clean. Poison Tree. The Poison Tree is a poem by i don't even remember who but it's a poem basically we in his house because we stole there was a line about something getting stole that that's really all i remember from the poem that was like eighth grade ha no that was seventh grade what <laughs> <laughs> it was yeah there was a line about uh the, in the night had unveiled the pole so basically we up that pole we in his house because we stole we on that motherfucking nigga's property. Come guess who's stopping me. You know I'm really popping G. I lay him out so jolly. That's, 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 I'm just the best. 
We on your property. You not stopping me. You know I'm popping G. And if you want smoke, lay him out. Jolly. He ain't dead. Who you telling me? Get letters like a spelling bee. You want to spell it out with me? Go ahead. R.I.P. So basically, simple as that. He ain't dead. You telling me? Because that's what. About to go kill him. He get letters. R.I.P. Dead. Speaking to me, you better watch your damn tone. About to go on tour with Jay. I tell him, watch the damn throne. I'm stepping out real quick. I need a motherfucking substitute. Shoot nuggets in their mouth and make their motherfucking nubs go mute. <laughs> yeah, explain this one. Man. <laughs> I have nothing against paraplegics. Okay, nuggets. I'm sorry if I offended you, but um, just I don't know. Don't offend me or the line. The line speaks for itself. And uh, Jay Z about to go on tour with Jay. Tell him watch the throne the album. And I'm stepping out. I'll need a substitute. And then Nuggets, they just, I don't know, they just somewhere. <laughs> Mom and Pa felt it through these bullets, transcending through family. Hit him in his leg. I bet I'm making fall right to his knee. So basically, um, if it's transcended through family, his family gonna feel these bullets too, you know? Shoot him in his leg, make him fall right to his knee. Not his pelvis, because we would have knocked his leg off. We shoot him in his other knee now. Yes. Who are you to referring to by that bar? Like, who did I shoot? Yes. No one. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> it's a battle with words, and you don't got enough ammo to scuffle. Lay them out like chips. I ain't talking about Pringles or Ruffles. That just reminds me of the Fabulous Bar. Uh, some about Ruffles. I don't know. Some are about you a chips. fan of Ruffles? Fan of Ruffles. Uh, I've had Ruffles a few times. Their sour cream and onion one is good. Lay's, they're, they're OGs, obviously. Respect the Lay's. Pringles. <sighs> so good. Um, and then Fabulous. Fan of Fabulous. Disrespected nigga, and I'm taking every one of his rights. He came up to my level to fight me. He was scared of them heights. Another one of my favorite parts. I have a lot of good parts on this song, I must admit. But, uh, yeah, basically, Mans came up to my level to fight me. My level too high. He started shaking. He was scared of them heights. He started shaking, yelling, what the fuck are you doing? Nothing. Just verbally dunking on your ass like an imprime Patrick Ewing. That was that was one of my favorite scenes to shoot for the music video. As uh, It was just great all around, you know. Want revenge? Come and shoot me. I'll let you fucking try it. Shots fatal. You can kill me, but best believe I ain't dying. So basically, you want revenge? You can shoot me. You can try it. And if you wanted to kill me, you can't kill me. I'm immortal. I can't die. Are you really immortal? <laughs> He's Joyner Lucas, bro. No way. Yes, I, I am immortal. I am Joyner Lucas and Chris Brown in one. I don't die. Okay. <clears throat> Ain't smoking on my pack, boy. You can stop with all that lying. I'm going up and up and up. They thought a boy was flying. Because you kill me, you won't smoke on my pack. My pack is non-existent. I'm already a pack, and guess what? It's not being smoked on. And I'm going up and up and up. They thought that I was flying my level, you know. You're scared of them heights, I'm already up there. But I'm still going up even more and more. I was already up before I started rapping, obviously. Anyway, so uh, that's how we beatbox around here. I boxed the beat up, simple as that. The beat's not exclusive, E. You can stop with all that lying. Mike Oxmall, out. <laughs>